Kyllä tää tulee taistelua täälläkin. No, I'll finish this. Jaha. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? Wonderstiff. You look exhausted. I'll be honest. It was a total disaster. That can't be true. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal that the Elidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then... Is that true? I'm afraid the truth is far worse than that. There's no deal. No. They're all Takon now. The Hatari, the Elidians. Everyone. No. That can't be true. I'm sorry. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Hotari isn't lost yet. This is far from over. It will be your home again, I promise. Thank you. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow, alert. Yeah. Commander Rydek, we need you on the bridge immediately. We've got an Olydian ship, the Veskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. Or what was the Veskar? Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Hmm. Commander? Should we put our shields up? Just as a precautionary measure. I'd like to avoid escalating this any more than we have to. Whatever the hell this is. Four hundred kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phasers. Shields up. Phasers ready. It's incoming. Yeah. No, hey, don't you tell him. Open fire. Heavy damage. But the collector's still at full power. Yeah, push away. Still up. Past our shields entirely. Leave. That's impossible. God damn it! Return fire. Everything we've got. Fire Back everything. It. Modulate the shield frequencies. See if you can get us any cover. Commander, just keep firing. Shields still have no effect. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. There. We've got incoming. How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless. They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain! Uh. He's out cold! Aha, nyt sillä on kapteeni sitten. Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander. We're being held by the Veskar. It's Galvin. On screen. Commander Rydak. Where's your captain? Not dead, I hope. At least, not yet. You're dealing with me. Is that a problem? One inferior life form is as good as another. I have to give you credit, Commander. You survived longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless, your weapons ineffective, and there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment. But I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely in my hands, and I'm not in a forgiving mood. It's entirely possible you could destroy us, but the truth is, we're worth more to you alive than dead. 
Better if we report back to Starfleet about the power of Taconian technology and the futility of fighting it. There might be value in that. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. You claimed I would be held accountable. And here I am. Hold me accountable. The Beskar's weapons are powering up. Yeah. Isn't over. <laughs> I assure you, we've only just begun. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable, just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. And the captain. Ah, Captain. Annettiin puranaa, niin se on kunnossa. Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Still no luck tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we've got. Commander Ryder, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered. I'd rather not fight this alone. We need to call for reinforcements. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3, guardian of the ah, Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first-hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu 4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 6-3's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 6-3, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. Her logic is sound. I guess this Pokemon portal may portal. have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the Cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 63. The very future of the Federation may rest in your hands. Hey, bye, Data. It takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run the ship. So we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for. Hey, Captain. Hey, Sam. Now what? We need that door sealed. We can handle that. Where do you need us? 
There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local systems. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! Toi toimii kyllä. We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. It may not be convenient, but we don't kill enemies who've surrendered. Keeping prisoners is a luxury we don't have. It's not a damn luxury. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. Me go ahead down. The rest of us can't show up any minute. Is that my mama or Biatin? They're all over this place. Tämmöistä tätä tökkönien. Look here. Alukset. Navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. Ehkä se toimii vaan noilla, jotka on muutettu niinku Tekoneiks. Everything under control? Yes. These Tekan haven't made a move. Yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. up to us. We're in a whole different kind of trouble. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This... this is not a Lydian programming. Is 
these crystals are Takan technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. I thought you had the access codes needed to take control back. I should, but I can't actually get to the surface. So I can't enter them here. Maybe there's somewhere else I can try. Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. This console looks unaffected. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. That much reactor output would drive us past the theoretical top speed of this ship. So how fast are we actually going? this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. Even with the engines pushed as hard as they are, they wouldn't produce this speed. And there's these crystals, the power from the Cartabula. The Takana found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going enact the next phase of their plan. That is if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. So what is their end game? They transformed individuals, they transformed this ship in a way. How far will they go? As far as we let them. The technology certainly doesn't seem to have limits. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. Toi on aika hyvä pointti. Tää on vaan niinku... So sovellus. Sille sen voimalle. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey! That's not how we do this. That is enough from you.
Go. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. Weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armita. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. Koko they didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. At the risk of stating the obvious, wouldn't changing the algorithms solve the problem? Yeah, I wish it was that simple. Unfortunately, it's an encrypted code that would take a long time. Niko Enterprise teki alas, jos sen jälkeen kun Klingonit pääsi suojista läpi. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this shield business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker. This is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. First team. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some... Good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Neepa. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive. Or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 6-3. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 6-3 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man, or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. Good, but that's just the first step. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Tikan. And with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools. And he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. So I'd expect the same when you get there. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these Takan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research, battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. No. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. 
We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division at Starfleet Tactical, devising new ways to take on the board. This isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. There are some things you can't be prepared for. And if there are no specific tactical solutions, we'll just have to take our chances. After all, risk is our business. We try to mitigate that risk as best we can. But the Starfleet we know today was built on that attitude. Hmm. Well said. Neat. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Your advice is well taken, Captain Riker. No matter what he throws at us, we'll stand up to this Takan Guardian. I'm sure you will. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that Takan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. There's nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithm? That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 6-3 and find those to Khan before this gets out of control. Riker out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. I'm sorry, Captain, but I didn't feel comfortable lying to a superior officer. I have no problem telling Starfleet. I just didn't want Riker holding this over me. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. It's the Automated Federation Warning Buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker provided. That was unpleasant. Commander Ermont, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan beam. I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Prep your way, team. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. He's not an asset, he's an enemy. So be ready for anything. Yeah, hop. All right. Tää, tää, tää alkoi mennä aika jännäks. Tämä, tämä peli, mutta niin, niin joo, kiitos hei katsomisesta. Me voidaan, voidaan itse asiassa tähän, tähän lopetella. Tosiaan niin kun, ihan, ihan mielenkiintoinen telteilimäinen äh, esitys tämä peli ja to, äh, huomaa tämmöisiä hyvin kliseisiä Star Trek juttuja niin kuin joka, joka episodissa kuten tää nyt oli toimintaakin tietysti sitten loppujen lopuksi ja aika yllättävää että telteilin veteraanit on niin kuin, tämmöstä to, putsleja ja toimintaa sekoittanut tähän näin ehkä yrittänyt tehdä vähän modernimman seikkailupelin tästä näin, mutta tykkään kovasti. Toivottavasti tekin tykkäätte. Ja kiitos tätä, tällä kertaa katsomisesta. Torstaina jatketaan tosiaan Varhammeria 
Ja, ja tätä näin, tää taitaa olla kohtuullisen lähellä loppua. Muita pelejä olisi sitten tulossa pikkuhiljaa. Eli näin. Hyvää hyvää kaikille.